All right, everybody. All right, guys, gals, and end pals. Um, let's, uh, let's watch this video by... Oh, there's a bunny. There's a bunny. You guys couldn't see it, but there was a bunny. It ran past my window. Okay. This video is by a channel called Daisy Corsons. Co Daisy Cousin? Daisy Cousins? Yeah, Daisy Cousins. Okay. 140, 150k subs. Verified on, on YouTube. Big channel. And it's a video called Why, Why, Fem Why Male Feminists Are the Literal Worst. Now, before we get into this, I want to say that um, I usually don't call myself a feminist. I feel like the fact that I identify as a leftist just kind of comes with the caveat that, yeah, I probably ascribe to most of, like, feminist theory and whatnot. Um, I, I know, I stole Gudian's intro, shut up. Um, but I, I feel like... I feel like just being, like, a leftist gives gives the implication, right, that I'm I'm pro-intersectionality and I believe in gender equality and whatnot. It just kind of comes with that. Um, now, the reason why I don't call myself a feminist publicly, even though ideologically I am, is mostly because of optics. Generally, I, I know, Lonnie, but this, I'm going to explain this now. Um, if you think... Like, if the average centrist or reactionary hears me identify as a fem feminist, they're immediately going to think of, like, um, well, let's actually look up what happens, what they'll think. Let's look up feminist on YouTube. Let's look up what happens if you look up feminist on YouTube. Let's see what people think of. What's feminist about equality? Has Swedish feminism gone too far? Feminists hate women now. Reggie Yates visits anti-feminist speakers debating at Speaker's Corner. A 101 on the feminist movement in India. White women talk about feminism. Men's rights versus feminism. Like, usually people think of this. When the average person thinks of feminism, they think of this. Great, it's a daily caller. Fuck it. Washington. It's a daily caller video. Fucking hell. Okay, can you load? Come on. Climate, global, global warming. Before. Uh, are you guys on Bumble? So usually, usually people think of like the cringe shit. Okay. So I can understand why some leftists, including myself, don't want to identify openly. Uh, as as feminist, even if my um, even if my ideology, if my beliefs align with that of feminism, a tiny, very loud, and obnoxious minority in any group is not a reason to deny subscribing to the group's ideology if the ideology is correct. Well, Lonnie, I don't, I I do subscribe to their ideology. It's the label that I don't call myself publicly in private. I'll I'll identify as a feminist because I I do. I am a feminist, like ideologically, but publicly. I generally find it's not good for me to, to to live by the label of feminist just for optics reasons, simply because of optics. Um, just look up Big Red Patriarchy, Pig Punch Real Good. Ex yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually, if I, as a leftist, publicly identified as a feminist and, like, some random, like, centrist gamer bro came into my video and was watching for the first time... Um, they would probably be turned off because this is what they think of when they think of feminism. Holy shit, my beard is making my fucking nose itch. What the fuck is this video? Can you, can I can't you shut the fuck up for a second, too? Rape accusations discredit rape victims, which reinforces rape culture, which is part of patriarchy. The idea of certain people- So, yeah. I think you guys get- I think you guys get what I'm talking about. That's why I don't want to identify as that, because even if that is, like, a small minority and whatnot, it's probably not good optics-wise if I'm trying to appeal to gamer bros and whatnot to identify as that. It's just what people think of when they think feminism. Um, sadly. I don't call myself a woman because people have bad ideas about women. Holy shit. Oh, no. Am, am I going to have to destroy my chat in a debate here before the video is even started? Okay, listen. The reason why I do not call myself a feminist publicly and identify that way publicly is because 
when the average person, when my target audience of like centrist gamer bro chuds thinks of a feminist, they think of Big Red. Okay, you get it. Good. I'm making sure you guys aren't fucking memeing. I was really worried that you guys were having bad. I was really bad. I was really worried I was going to have to fight with my chat here, okay? Listen, I love you guys, and let's hope this video. Vosh Optics Copy Pasta, true. All right, let's watch this video. We've been talking for Hi, like 10 everyone. Minutes. I hope you're all well. So Holy shit. Oh my god. What the fuck am I looking at right now? How did I not know this channel existed? Okay, so for starters, we have a PewDiePie hat sitting next to a Make America Great Again hat, a Louder with Crowder mug, which you can only get, if I if I remember correctly, also the ultimate trad wife, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, if I recall correctly, you can only get the Louder with Crowder mug if you were subscribed to his show or to his website for like six months to a year. You can't buy it. You can't buy it. You have to subscribe. For, for like six months, and then you get the mug as a reward. So this lady is a serious Steven Crowder fan. The Make America Great Again hat, and the fucking PewDiePie hat sitting next to it. Okay. And then the ultimate trad wife. Jesus Christ. This is not what I expected from this video. Alright. Okay, buddy. Let's speed this up to about 1.5 speed and see what we're gonna get. So oh, I have talked about feminists and feminism a lot on this channel, on my TV, and my writing. It's always been a very large chunk of my commentary, specifically third and fourth wave feminism, all that modern stuff that is largely complaining for the sake of complaining by bitter, insecure women who hate themselves and everyone who disagrees with them. Really? Really? You don't like third or fourth wave feminism? I mean, so here's the problem, though. So usually when someone says third or fourth wave feminism, they just mean modern feminism talking about modern issues i guarantee i really hate the fake accent she's doing here this is like what arch warhammer does where he's like today we will be talking about this beautiful game i i i can't even where he rolls the r's and shit with the like the shitty fake british axe it actually makes me want to kill myself so we're getting this is the female arch warhammer this is the female arch warhammer right here like larping as the ultimate trad wife i oh god they all want to be sargon yeah okay What's fourth wave feminism? Okay, so I'm gonna have to dip back into my reactionary days here. Fourth and third wave feminism are basically fa like merged together by any anti-feminist figure that you might watch. It basically means any feminist who talks about modern issues and and like generally the take that they'll have is that feminism is useless in the West because women have gender equality and everything, and it's only useful in like third world countries where they like mutilate women's vaginas and and kill women and stone them for showing their ankle and whatnot um now funnily enough i guarantee this is the same type of person who if you ask them hey do you think male suicide rates and whatnot are a problem they would say yes and then you'd be like okay that's a feminist issue having to do with toxic masculinity and they go toxic masculinity why do you hate men why and then they start having a fucking mental breakdown. Um, <laughs> Pig Puncher, stop saying reactionary because you have no clue what it means. I'm. Are you fucking stupid, Supreme Soviet? Holy shit. Are you a chud? B -b -b but it starts with femme, Pig Puncher. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Did I ear rape you all? Good. But what I haven't talked about a lot are male feminists. Men on the regressive left who, for some reason... Oh, God. We have a we have a fucking, uh, not just a Steven Crowder fan, but a fucking uh, 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 Dave Rubin fan. The regressive left. The left, by the nature of being the left, cannot be regressive. That's not how it works. She's Australian. She's not trying to be. ...ideology that literally wants to deny them opportunities by pulling women up at the expense of men via artificial social processes. They also seem Examples? perfectly happy to exist in an environment where, at least in the case of straight white men, they are the only identity group who it is socially acceptable to denigrate on the basis of race and gender. Now, why men- Okay, I'll agree with that. Shitting on, like, men and white people for being men and white people is bad. Shit on them for ide uh, I their ideas and whatnot. You can joke about mayo side in private and whatnot, um, but don't do it publicly. Bad optics, kind of mean- we shouldn't be racist. I can agree with that. But can we get an example of where it's like socially acceptable to like in what example? Yeah, and the Harry Potter because probably because J.K. Rowling's a turf. Where is it okay to um, Comrade Courtney? You don't have to say that to me. I already know that's not all feminists. But like, 
do I do, do I need to say like do I need to ask for an example of how feminists are trying to put down men in 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 order to raise up women? Is there like an example of that that she can give? Actual feminists don't shit on men or white people for being men or white people. True. Men would ever side with this kind of movement has always puzzled me. I mean, sure, some of the more well-intentioned ones have been brainwashed into thinking feminism is still just about promoting gender equality and that, as the alleged oppressors, they deserve all the pack criticism that they get. To those men, I send my deepest sympathies. However, there is a contingent of- Brainwashed, okay. Is there a conspiracy? Male feminists who, from my experience, is the largest contingent, who latch onto the feminist movement for a far more insidious reason. Now, we've all seen commentators make fun of male feminists for their apparently eager subservience to women, and that's very easy to do, especially when we see tweets like this. <laughs> Arthur Chu. What, do you, what, what did Arthur Chu tweet? As a dude who cares about feminism, sometimes I want to join all men arm in arm and then run off a cliff and drag the whole gender into the sea. Um, cringy joke, clearly, but okay. Oh, we have a chud? Check out that silver sub plaque. I'm going to have one of those eventually. Um, chud debate? Wait, where's the chud? Is it the guy that said I shouldn't use reactionary because I don't know what it means? I, I literally... I, I literally am using reactionary in the right way. I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to debate the chud and chat because they're extremely stupid. Um, a reactionary in, a pl in political science is a, a reactionary can be defined as a person or entity holding political views that favor a return to previous political state of society that they believe possessed uh, characteristics that are negatively absent from the con con contemporary status quo t of society. Basically, conservative. People who want to go back are regressive. I mean, I, I don't know why, but I feel like regression and like sort of emanates from this person. I, I don't feel like this person's a big fan of modernity. So yeah, this person's a reactionary. And whoever said, I don't know what reactionary means in chat, shut the fuck up. You're stupid. Go Google it. Yeah, obviously reactionary means someone who reacts to things. True. And that's very easy to do, especially when we see tweets like this. Okay, cool. I'm happy to admit I can't satisfy my wife. Only a world without inequality can. Good meme. Starbucks charges extra to sub soy boy to soy to sub soy milk in lattes. And I think we should petition that this is racist. This is clearly a fucking joke. Holy shit! I thought the I thought the left is, are the ones that can't take a joke. This person is clearly making a joke here. Like this is really obviously a joke. Hold on. Let me show it in all of its glory. How much of a fucking idiot do you have to be to believe this person is actually serious and claiming it's racist to charge extra for putting soy to sub, sub soy milk for uh, normal milk? Holy shit, it's very clearly a joke. <laughs> the right is getting better at comedy and the left is getting scared. What a snowflake. That last tweet had nothing to do with feminism, but I just thought you should see it. <laughs> However, these puppy dog-esque affirmations are often symptomatic of a darker complex. A male feminist is a usually heterosexual man who claims to support women, but by support, I mean constantly telling them how oppressed they are by men, and how insecure they should feel walking down the street because of how predatory men can be, and what an unfair place the world is for women, and don't worry because I'm not like other men, I'm an ally and I'll stand with you against the big bad patriarchy. <laughs> In other words, these are men I, who- I don't even know how I'm supposed to respond to this, this is literally level- this is literally just level one anti-feminist takes we're getting this is 2016 shuan head times 10 it's just yeah i know loud is funny listen reactionaries all you would have to do is just play i feel like to, if you wanted to make a, a like a reactionary 16 year old laugh their ass off you would just like build a giant screen and just show an image of shrek zoomed in turned red and then like base boost it times 10 so it's ear rape saying hello there and just over and over and over and over and over and over and over again it would make any 16 year old reactionary laugh over and over again basically yeah basically shrek funny loud funny ha 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 basically um yeah i don't like i feel like any male anti-sjw type wouldn't be able to get away with this but because she's a woman She's able to do the I'm not like the other girls thing, which is ironic because she's accusing male fem male feminists of being the I'm not like the other guys thing, right? So because she's a woman, she can do these like low-level anti-feminist takes and get away with it because dudes, like anti-feminist dudes, 
fuck, I know this because I was one of these people fucking love hearing how bad feminism is and how oppressed they are from a woman. They fucking love it. They're like, oh, yes, tell me how oppressed I am. Oh, uh, it, it feels fucking great when you're like an, a reactionary teenager. I, I'm speaking from experience here. Um, and clearly, if we look at the, um, if we look at the success of this video, and it's, it's not very old, um, you know, this is reflected in, in the viewership here. Um, like, yeah, guys generally want to feel oppressed, like, if we're not talking about, like, the male feminist dudes. <laughs> yes, oppress me. Tell me how oppressed I am. Tell me how I actually have it worse. Like subjugating women and enjoy making them feel bad about themselves. And in feminism, they have found the perfect way to do that without being called a misogynist, even though they are the true internalized misogynist, so to speak. Hey, Lumilani, thank you for the $5. I'm still not a fan of the calling myself a feminist as bad optics take, but love you anyway. Listen, Lonnie, I, I know, I don't think, okay, so calling myself a feminist is bad optics. Let me, okay, I feel like I need to elaborate I feel like I do need to elaborate more on that take, because I feel I didn't word it perfectly, okay? I don't believe it is bad optics in general to call yourself a feminist. I think Claudia Brown, aka Ranting Feminist, who changed her name, by the way, to Claudia Brown from Ranting Feminist because she thought that name was bad optics. Um, I generally think you can call yourself a feminist and still be good optics. I just think that generally, depending on who you're trying to reach, it may be a good idea in certain situations not to, to just outwardly say you're a feminist just because um, it can be bad with the target audience you're trying to reach. I feel like I have a responsibility personally with the groups that I am trying to appeal to that I need to be very careful with my wording, very careful with how I present myself. I don't know. It's really hard to um to to express myself, but like I feel like if you click on a ranting feminist video or a Claudia Brown video and you watch it, you're not going to come out of it thinking that your stereotype of a feminist has been achieved but i feel like if i'm doing the thing where i like slam my desk and do what a fucking liar and i yell and stuff in my stream and i also call myself a feminist i feel like rather than thinking i'm just being edgy and boisterous and entertaining for my stream instead people are going to think um oh, this is just a triggered feminist yelling. Like, I, I gotta be careful, you know, with, with uh, optics. I don't know. It's a complicated issue. Um, let's continue. With this behavior, the male feminist can make already insecure women feel even more insecure, thus exercising a sort of power play over them, with the eventual goal being to, well, you know. <laughs> On top of this, considering female feminists' vast hypocrisy when it comes to conservative women, the male feminist also has license to externally... Ex Wait, what? Okay, this is something I hear so much from these people. Holy fuck, there's so much bullshit here, I can't even, like... She's just spewing out, like, all of the, like, cringe level one anti-feminist talking points here. Um, okay. They're absolutely dudes who pretend to care about women's rights in order to, um... And, 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 like, act nice and, like, they care about women in order to get laid. And those guys are almost always proto-incels. They almost always end up being incels after they get rejected by a girl they held the door open for for a few times. Because they find out that being a nice guy and calling yourself a feminist won't get you laid. Like, those guys always end up becoming, like, black-pilled, reactionary, like, anti-feminists, like, a fucking couple months after. They're nice guys. We have a word for them, okay? Those guys exist, Okay. But because of their state of existence, because they never actually end up getting laid, because women see right through it, they don't exist for very long. They're just proto-incels. Um, now, if we move on to the hypocrisy point she just made, um, I really hate when they claim this. They claim the same thing about progressives that care about, like, racial equality, where they're like, ha, you care about women's rights, but if a, if a conservative woman says something you disagree with, then you get angry at them and you, and you argue with them or you try to deplatform them. De yes, I see them as equal. If they say something harmful or something fucking stupid, I'm going to treat them just as a guy who said something harmful or stupid, as I would to a guy who said something harmful or stupid. It's not hypocrisy. I don't think you, like, it's so dumb because these people have such a, like, foundationally incorrect understanding of what feminism is. Feminism is not the, um, the uplifting of women purely for being women. It is about, purely about gender equality. Yeah, I already talked about The Witcher, Chad Boris. You missed it. 
fix your fucking sleep schedule. Um, it's purely about gender equality. So, for example, big feminist issue, you hear about it a lot. Toxic masculinity. It's the reason why men have such high suicide rates. It, it's um, toxic masculinity is the idea that guys feel like they can't talk about their feelings and about issues that they're facing in life because then they'll get made fun of by women, men, anybody really, or it's just society in general might look at them like they're being a wimp if they talk about their feelings, about their issues, things like that. That is a bad thing. Um, and so basically the idea of feminism is to just sort of try to dis dissuade people from exhibiting toxic masculinity. Um, so that's a feminist issue, and yet it's about uplifting men, because men have such high suicide rates. Like, this lady doesn't even understand what feminism is, like, foundationally. ...size his misogyny by calling conservative women all of the most disgustingly quintessentially sexist things you can possibly imagine. Since lady feminists believe in their infinite idiocy... Okay, then... really quick. I will get... I, I will concede this one to her. There are people who do this, particularly, like, um, Christy Winters did this. Kevin Logan and Christy Winters called Shoe on Head, like, some really fucking disgusting shit. Um, and still do to this day. I'm not talking, like, calling her dumb or stupid or anything. I'm talking, like disgustingly misogynistic shit. I don't even want to say it because me and Shuan had our friends and I don't want it to get like clipped and like sent to her and have people think that I was like saying that about her, but like genuinely misogynistic, like horrific things. Um, Kevin Logan and um, yeah, yeah. Kevin apologized for it. Okay. If Kevin apologized for it, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll say this. Kevin Logan back in like 2016 2017 called uh shuan head a skeptic youtuber's cum bucket that is probably the most misogynistic thing i've ever heard and it's coming from male feminist i understand i can i can agree with that but that is not feminism okay that is not feminism that women who disagree with them are capitulating to the patriarchy and thus enabling the alleged systems of power that oppress women and all for the sake of obtaining male attention, they are happy to admit that conservative women lose their intersectional woman card. Therefore, as apparent traitors to their gender, female feminists think it's perfectly fine to harass and disparage conservative women using all the gendered sexist insults they would decry as misogyny if directed at one of their own. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. The idea of feminism is for gender equality. The idea behind this, unless we're going by idpol, which conservatives love to use, and sometimes liberal feminists will use, like pop, li like pop liberal feminism, you know, the stuff, like the, the feminists are like more female drone pilots, you know, not actual feminism. Um, they will do things like, uh, so, so the idea of feminism is that it doesn't matter what your identity is. This is just general, like generally true about progressives, okay? It doesn't matter if you're black. It doesn't matter if you're a woman. It doesn't matter if you're gay. It doesn't matter if you're trans. If you are part of any minority group that as a whole progressives want to uplift, if you are an individual who is part of those identities, if you say something harmful or wrong, you will be called out for it despite your identity. That's why progressives call out Blair White for being transphobic even though she's trans. That's why we call out Jesse Lee Peterson and Candace Owens for being white supremacists, even though they're black, regardless of them being black. That's why we call out um, this lady and TERFs and people like Christina Hoff Summers for spreading misogynistic ideas despite being women. And it's why we call out Milo Yiannopoulos for being a Nazi and spreading homophobia despite being a gay guy. It doesn't matter. If what your identity is, if you are a leftist, if you are a progressive, it doesn't matter what their identity is. If they say something wrong, we will shit on you just as we would shit on any cis gendered white straight male het guy saying some dumb shit as well. It doesn't matter what your, uh, where your ideas is. And it's funny. It's funny that she does the whole, um, oh yeah, not like the other guys thing. Uh, or accuses male feminists of doing the whole, oh, not like the other guys thing, when she is literally doing the not like the other girls thing. She is, like, purposefully dressed in the most tradcon clothing I've ever seen in my life. I'm hoping that this is, like, like a costume for the video. I, I, I would think, 
like she's trying to go for a bit of like a contrapoints dressing up like really fancy and like extravagantly for a video type thing but at the same time I wouldn't be surprised if she goes out and dresses like Mary Poppins every day just normally and that's her look um she her existence is not like the other girls I'm a trad wife yeah perfect for the male feminist because he can indulge his internal hatred of women by pouring it into sexist trolling of right-wing ladies and be congratulated for it by feminist women. When you put it like that, it's very easy to see why these types of men are attracted to feminism. After all, modern feminists have strayed from the female empowerment mantra of second wave feminists in favor of 1850s couch-fainting victim feminism. Rather Wait, than what? No, and feminism has never been specifically about uplifting women. When it was, obviously when it was founded, the idea of feminism was founded, women were like, you know, down here, and men were way up here, so most of what was talked about was, like, giving women the right to vote, letting women work, you know, make, making it so women, um, uh, just giving women basic civil rights and then basic social rights, but now we're at a point where, for the most part, under the law, women are mostly equal. We still have issues like access to abortion, which, you know, judging by the fact this person is a Trump supporter, probably doesn't, uh, she probably doesn't see abortion, access to abortion as a woman's right, even though it should be. Um, uh, most for the most part legally women are around equal for the most part however we see a lot of issues having to do with social pressures and socioeconomic factors just tons of things that you can list um involving uh, uh, uh women and men like like women are still a social minority. They're still down here. Men are still a social majority. Um, they still generally get it better than women. Women are overwhelmingly the, the victim of rape. Men are overwhelmingly rapists. And when you when you talk about, like, act, like when we take a poll of rapists, most rapists are men, not most men are rapists, just clarifying there. Um, it is pretty significant to point this out. This is why feminism is still necessary. But nowadays, feminism is very specifically... And generally, I think any definition of feminism that you would find that's agreed upon by most feminists is about gender equality. This means if men are being oppressed, getting rid of that oppression towards men. And if women are being oppressed, getting rid of that oppression towards women. And if we're talking intersectional feminists, which all feminists should be, that includes other gender identities as well. And seeing women as every bit as capable as men of exacting their autonomy, modern feminists see women as fragile beings who need to be catered for by men, lest they intimidate or offend women with a potential microaggression. As such, modern feminists These people don't really women, exist. Encourage These people don't really exist. The fucking PC principle, like, fucking, uh, um, wee-woo, wee-woo, microaggression type people. These people just don't fucking exist. Like, I, I saw, like... 10 videos of them back in 2016 when I was 17 years old, but now, like, but still, like, another, what has it been, like, four years later, it's still the same videos getting passed around. Do these people even fucking exist anymore? Are they, like, real? Are they, like, I mean, there's people who believe the Earth is flat. I would think there's probably more flat Earthers than there are people like that. Wait, is this, this is a tweet from her Twitter. Lol, when lefties claim they're somehow the underdogs in the media, biggest lol? This is from today. Why do you send me this tweet? Of course, this is fucking stupid. I would say that generally progressive ideas are probably pretty prominent in the media, but if we're talking about alternate media, like on, on YouTube and whatnot, I would argue that progressive ideas are probably getting drowned out by reactionary ideas. YouTuber commentator contribute to at Courier Mail Penthouse Australia? Wait, what? Is she a... Okay. In Sky News Australia? She's an Australian. Wait, she unironically seems to dress this way. Holy fuck. She lives in Queensland. Fucking hell. Alright. Les Billionaire for the, with the $5 says, I couldn't be here... Fuck. I couldn't be here during the Witcher review uh, memory, but I'm a female historical European martial arts um, practitioner. Long swords on average weigh three pounds. This guy has zero clue what he's talking about. Yeah, I basically t I basically called that out, Liz Billionaire, where um he said that, oh, women swing around these five to ten pound swords when no, any basic long sword is going to be closer to three to four pounds um, rather than fi like five to ten. You, you cannot effectively swing a five to ten pound sword as like a 200 pound guy, I feel like. Um, it would probably like really fucking hurt your wrists. Um, but yeah, every every expert uh, called that guy out. That guy had no idea what he was talking about. ...their insecurities rather than toughing them up. 
Of course, predatorial, quietly misogynistic men would be attracted to the feminist movement. This true internalized misogyny of leftist male feminists regrettably extends beyond the PDF. Leftist male feminists? Wait, I guarantee you, a let like, okay. Anytime a reactionary says leftist, they're referring to anybody on the left. They, they think liberals are leftists. It just shows how fucking, like, how out of this world stupid they are that they don't even know what a leftist is. I've literally, it's hilarious when I get called a liberal. That's, that's my favorite part. The instance I, um, the instance someone comments on one of my videos and they call me a liberal, that's when I'm like, okay, I'm dealing with someone who, who has, like, sub, like, like, literal freezer temperature IQ. ...to the real world. Amidst the flurry of anecdotes about sexual assault that cascaded through the public realm on October 15, 2017, which was the inauguration of the Me Too movement, it seemed most of the highest profile allegations were against powerful men of the left, many of which claimed to be feminists. Harvey Weinstein was the most obvious example, a lifelong donor to the Democratic Party who attended the 2017 Women's March in Park City, Utah. He was accused of the most horrific sexual harassment and assault of women over a period of several decades. He had used his huge amount of power to corner young women into granting him particular favors, which were often very much non-consensual. Louis C. Huh, interesting how uh, Christians claim to, or Catholics claim to be good people, and yet the Pope, and, and so many, uh, the Pope has covered up uh, pedophil like uh, different um, people in the church being pedophiles and touching young boys. Damn, look at all these um, people and in, in places of power and all these religious institutions that molest children. I guess uh, uh, religious people are all pedophiles, huh? Same line of, literally same line of logic. This is literally the same line of logic she's using. K was the next, a comedian who has, on occasion, infused seemingly feminist rhetoric into his routines. He was accused of sexual misconduct by five women and eventually admitted to the claims. Not to mention Joss Whedon, who, while not accused of sexual misconduct, routinely cheated on his ex-wife Kay Cole during their marriage while singing the praises of feminism and writing feminist-themed scripts. In fact, Cole said she felt he used her as a shield so that he could continue with his bad behavior, with nobody criticizing his relationships with women or scrutinizing his writing as anything other than feminist. So how did he eventually excuse this bad behavior to Kay Cole? Well, in a letter he wrote to her when their marriage was falling apart, he said, In many ways, I was the height of normal in this culture. We're taught to be provided- Is she actually just going to read the whole story about Joss Whedon? Like, I, like, literally, this is the same argument as saying that all Catholics are pedophiles because all these figures in power and, like, Catholic institutions are, are have been outed as pedophiles and the Pope. Like, there's probably a better case to make that most Catholics are pedophiles than there is to make the case that most- um, male feminists are, are like trying to get laid or are like secretly predators trying to really oppress women. Like, there's probably a better case I could make because like even like the, like Catholicism has like a leader. Feminism doesn't have like a leader, like a, a head of feminism, but the literal like Pope was covering up and covering up instances of priests molesting children. Like, there's probably a better case I could make there, but this is literally the same argument here and at the same time to conquer and acquire, specifically sexually, and I was pulling off both. Oh, how convenient. It's society that's the problem, not you. All Catholics are pedophiles, source. I was raised Catholic. Fatal, if you actually think I was saying all Catholics are pedophiles, then I don't know what to do. Like, I, I, I don't know if you... I don't want to be ableist or anything, but I, I'm just going to assume you weren't listening, but okay. Um, also, can we point out that these are also all, like, Hollywood figures? Like... Oh, you're memeing with me? Okay, good. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, you guys gotta understand. I can't tell if you're joking through text. Jesus Christ. Um, she, notice she's pointing out, like, all Hollywood figures and shit, like people who are in massive places of power and have a lot of money. It seems like people who are in places of power and have a lot of money may be predisposed to using that power and using that money to do things that are abusive. Huh. Look at this Yikers tweet. No, it's irrelevant. I'm not looking Ew. at it. How very left wing. Then on October 17, two days after Me Too went viral, Wait, there was- Danny Court? I don't know who this person is. Who? Who the fuck is Danny Corks? History major, male feminist, and 911 follow. Like, who the fuck is this person? Maybe in the future, Pig Puncher will choose not to send his fans to harass trans and non-binary people, but I doubt it until that day actually does happen. I'm going to continue calling him out on it, as well as calling people like you out for licking his boots. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, if I if I quote tweet somebody, yeah, it's just a woke scold. Like literally, just like sub fucking. Listen, the woke scolds are are I I, I consider woke scolds at this point who are still going after like contra points and stuff like that who won't even watch her video like literally less than than human at this point they're, they're less than human they aren't worth my time they're just cruel um they claim to care about like non-binary people and trans people and yet the actions they take are basically the same as like the kiwi farms people i've dealt with like they literally do the same shit they act the same fucking way if you're going to rail on contra points and not even watch her video and do things like it like they they oftentimes dox and shit like that and go on on fucking doxing and harassment campaigns you're doing the same shit as the kiwi farms nazis do um wow pig puncher saying that trans people are less than human yeah because they're trans obviously good meme is this a centrist show no all right let's continue was an allegation made anonymously on Facebook about Sam Kritz contributed to the heavily left wing Oh yeah, was that the dude? Hold on. Was that Danny Crow? Yeah, that was the guy. The guy that I just looked at on Twitter was the guy who said, "Ha, Pig Puncher has only been a leftist for 8 months or 6 months and that was the meme." Uh, good nice meme. Did the stream just die? Wait a second. My stream My stream on Twitch just went out. Did my internet go out? Is, did it just glitch? I, I'm gonna assume it just glitched. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, continue. In Vice magazine, Chris, a rabid socialist who tweeted that Chairman Mao was a big softie who had gone easy on his victims, posited himself as a hero of the left and an advocate for women. However, the anonymous. So is this just gonna be like anecdote? Is the plur like data is the plural of anecdote? Just for the next seven minutes, is that all we're gonna get here? Holy shit! All right, we're turning it up to two times speed. Didn't want to have to do it. We're doing it, though. Comrade Courtney, thank you for the tier one. Get the sub to this billionaire, says another sub-worthy username. That is a very good username. This allegation painted him in a very different light. The woman alleged he had groped her while on their third date, forcibly touched her, twisted her head to make her kiss him in a crowded theater, and tried to force her to drink alcohol, even though she insisted that she didn't want to. Sam Chris apologized like for his behavior, predator. and while he admitted to it, he attempted to put some context around the issue, insisting that they had had a prior sexual relationship, so that was okay. The author also alleged he tried that to That sounds like a conservative home. idea. Isn't it conservatives who believe that if you're in a relationship, especially if you're married, that you can't, it, you technically cannot rape your, your spouse or significant other, because they've, because they've, uh, in the, by agreeing to a relationship with you, um, you you they have signed a pre-existing consent form essentially it's really that's a that's a conservative thought not a uh, a feminist idea like is this literally just going to be anecdote 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 and thus all male feminists are simps who either hate themselves or are like self-hating or are secretly predators trying to go after women. Is that literally all we're going to get from this fucking not like the other girls tr like 19 like 1800s trad wife? with him by leveraging his parents' big fancy house. When I returned, I sat away from him. Then the various maneuvers to get me to go home with him began. I want to relay precisely how he first suggested this because it demonstrates a willingness to lord wealth and thus power. Sam said, "So do you want to come back to mine to see my massive house? Don't you mean your parents' massive house?" "Yeah, but when they die, I'll inherit it." Sounds so Oh. Video's buffering, what the fuck? Am I right? The list goes on. Oh uh, yeah, I know, citing the Daily Caller. I know, no, this lady might actually be, like, a fascist. Um, I mean, she has the, like, she has a Trump supporter. She has the, yeah. What do you say, chat? Let's do a poll. Let's see. Do you guys think she's actually, like, a fascist? Um, let me see. What's the... Slash... What is the command to make a poll? Slash vote. Start a vote, vote, and you must ask a question mark to the end of your question. All right. Slash vote. All right. Is this lady a fascist? Yes or no? All right. What do you guys think? One for yes and two for no. Do you think she's a fascist? Hey, Vadim. Good to see you, dude. Happy New Year. All right, that's an overwhelming 90% yes. Yeah, I, I think she's probably a fascist. I mean, like, she's dressed up as an 1800s trad wife. I, I think I think we have our answer here. You know, for a fact... Wait, Vadim, do you know this lady? Do you know, like, of her? Because this is my first time ever seeing a video from her in my entire life. I'm... I mean, she's dressed as, a night, as like, an 1800s trad wife, so I think it's probably a good guess, but... Let's continue. 
19th, it was revealed that Rupert Myers, GQ magazine's political correspondent, had his freelance contract with the publication terminated after allegations of historical sexual misconduct. Trad wife is bad? Week. No. Trad wife is not bad. There is nothing wrong with if you want to be a trad wife being a trad wife. What is bad is trying to push society to dis um, discouraging women from pursuing a life of independence if that is what they want to go for and instead trying to force them into a societal expectation that they should stay in the house barefoot and pregnant making pies and dinner for their husband coming home from work so he can get drunk and beat her and then have sex with her and then he like nuts in two seconds because he hasn't like he's fucking 40 and then like they go to sleep and the wife cries herself to sleep like dreaming about the life she could have had that's what i have an issue with um, yes, yeah, she's a huge MRA and has nothing but uh, fascist uh, shitty takes. Yeah, I saw a couple of her tweets. I'm not surprised. All right, cool. She's a full-on fascist. Not surprised. 19th century trad wife isn't as traditional. She shouldn't be. She should be an 18th century trad wife. She is. She's an 18th century trad wife. Look at her. She's literally dressed as like a fucking like 18th century white like woman. I don't like. That's what I said. Um, all right, let's continue. Around the same time, Andy Signore, creator of Screen Junkies and the Honest Trailer series, who owned the suggestions that his show had a feminist agenda, and asked his Twitter feed in April 2017 to defend a female contributor from, and I quote, the hell pit that is our YouTube comments, was fired by Defy Media for egregious and intolerable sexual behavior. Former intern Emma Bauer, who had worked for Signore in 2015, alleged that he messaged her to tell her how hot she was, and that he wanted to come to her hotel room to behave inappropriately toward her while she yeah, had less than This is literally just going to be more fucking anecdote. How, can I like, holy shit, I'm just, I'm moving ahead, we have more anecdote. Trudeau is a self-proclaimed feminist. He is known for his alleged... More anecdote? You guys ready for some oh, more anecdote? Oh, yeah. more inclusive. There we go, exactly. People come. Are you guys ready for a little more anecdote? Question. I do not feel that I acted inappropriately in any way, but I respect the fact that someone else... More anecdote. Here. Holy shit, that's all conservatives know. All They can't look at data. They can't look at the definition of things. All they can do is, like take anecdotal like images videos and things like that it's the john tron take remember john tron's debate with destiny where he's like or not john tron uh uh count dankula it's the count dankula take where um Count Dankula was like, yeah, Europe is literally burning to the ground. There's riots all over Europe. It, it's it's burning to the ground. I've seen tons of videos, Destiny. Destiny, you don't understand. I've seen hundreds of videos, mate. Like, it's so fucking, I can't stand it. These people can't look at data. They can't even look up the definition of a word. This is what fascism is all about. <laughs> Holy fuck. Well, boys, we did it. Thank God this is over, because now we have to cover no bullshit. Oh, God.